Hello YouTube, I'm bringing you a very quick video today on how to perform a white test in SAS. So what is the white test used for? Well, if you recall from your studies of simple linear regression, one of the assumptions of that model is that the errors are homoscedastic. In other words, the errors have constant variance. And that is what the white test is used for. Remember, just because you're making that assumption in that model does not mean it is necessarily true. So we can use the white test then to verify that our assumption is indeed true. So before we run any code, let's talk about the hypotheses for this test. The hypotheses associated with the white test are as follows. The null hypothesis, we say that the errors are homoscedastic, and that is really what we want, and that's what we're hoping for. The alternate hypothesis is that the errors are heteroscedastic, meaning that they are different, and that is not what we're after. This means that uh, this will have some negative effects on our model and that we should try to fix this somehow if this does occur. Okay, looking at our data, I have one predictor x and then one dependent variable y. Now let's take a look at our code. I'm going to be using proc model. I'm just using my demo data. And now in here, you need to specify the parameters. Remember, we'll still have two parameters technically, one for the intercept beta 0 and then beta 1 corresponds to x. Then we specify what our model will actually be. Our model is y is equal to beta 0 plus beta 1 times x. Then the last line here, we're just going to say fit y forward slash white for the white test. Let's go ahead and run this now. Okay, everything looks good. And what we're after is this heteroscedasticity test down here at the bottom. And the analysis for this is really quite simple. If you need the white test statistic, it is provided to you. Here it is 1.85, the degrees of freedom are 2, and the p-value is 0.39. Given an alpha, let's just say 0.05. If we pick that significance level, then we're going to end up failing to reject. Remember, we are only going to reject if this p-value ever reaches a value that's less than our alpha. Since this is not less than alpha, we will fail to reject. Let's go back to our hypotheses. Since we fail to reject the null hypothesis, that means that our errors are going to be homoscedastic, and that is what we're after, so no transformation needed, and at least in regards to constant variance. And just a couple more things before I close the video. I will tell you that there are some other procedures you can use to test for constant variance, but beware, they do not all test the exact same thing. For example, you can use proc reg and the forward slash spec option. However, this does test something slightly different, and if you read the documentation that's provided in support.sas.com, it will explain this. But as always, thanks for watching, and I hope this helped.